today we are going to start with new chapter right that is control and coordination so i you as you may know that all living things right they respond to changes in the environment right and this changes in the environment are called stimulus right so here you can see this lion right this cub is biting it so how what is the response here it will scream with pain right it is screaming with pain so here the stimulus what is stimulus the bite right the pain the pain is the stimulus okay in this case and here here you can see this cook right so what is happening here is here it is hot suppose this this pan this cooker is hot okay now this a uh, cook is touching it right so what will uh, his response be he will take out his hand right his pull out he will pull out his hand right so this this is here what is the stimulus again it is pain and the reaction it is pulling of the hand okay here here you can see here this this child this girl right she is responding right to sunlight she is closing her eyes and here you can see this boy is running away from the dog right the fear of the dog is making him run so here the stimulus is fear and here you can see right this is uh, touch me not right when you pickle it with pencil what will happen it will fold right so here it is responding to the stimulus and the stimulus is touch okay understood yes sir okay so you can see the response uh, to the stimulus is usually in the form of some movement right some movement is there so you can see uh, say that this movement this uh, stimulus right response to stimulus is the property okay this the property of living organism and both plants and animal respond to stimulus but what is the difference between them can you say yes ma'am what is the difference between plants and animals like uh, uh, the difference in responding to stimulus how are they different um, uh, i think animals have more uh, noticeable responses than yeah. plants don't have uh, plants have slow responses okay why why is it so uh, um, like for example if an animal gets hurt or uh, anything like that then it shows a fast response like uh, it responds very quickly but in the case of plants they don't they don't respond quickly yeah what do plants don't have they don't have nervous system right they yes. respond by hormones only hormones but in the animals we have both nervous system and hormones okay that is the main difference ah uh, good safia okay so next we will see this girl what are sense organs from the organs which can detect uh, stimuli yes so what are those those are our eye our nose our tongue our skin and our ear right before going into this right we have to know about receptors and effectors and sense organs so sense organ what do they do they receive in uh, information right from environment and this sense organ what do they contain they contain receptors what do they contain they contain receptors and what are receptors um they so yeah tell me sapya um they detect uh, yes yes correct correct perfect tell me they detect the stimuli yes yes they detect they de they are sensitive okay they are sensitive to particular type of stimulus just as light sound and smell right touch 
so this sense organ will contain receptors which are sensitive to stimulus okay so we have sound receptors smell receptors taste receptors um then we have receptor for touch pressure and all the skin will have this what type of receptor skin will have it will have the receptor for detecting touch pressure and heat right pain and all others and uh, uh, receptors are also given special name like for the for the light right we the, the receptor which detect light what are they called it will be very easy tell me think yes ma which one the receptors which detect light um, i think they are called photoreceptors yes correct so they are photoreceptors then what about phonoreceptors do they detect sound yes sound okay then olfactory can you tell i'll tell where this is found okay then you tell me this is found in nose then what does it detect it detects smell yes correct perfect um, like in chemistry also we had all have to indicate and they indicate an acid or base by its smell oh okay then what about the taste what will it be called hmm? gustatory receptors okay gustatory receptors then what about heat or cold this is what did i tell taste heat or cold temperature detector what are they what will be they called safia what of the uh, what of uh, what about the receptors which will detect heat or cold thermo thermo receptor thermo receptors then stimulus what actually is stimulus stimulus it is a kind of energy such as light sound it will have energy right and this receptors contain group of cell which are sensitive to energy provided by the stimulus stimulus will be containing energy and this receptor will be sensitive to the energy provided by the receptor, uh, by the stimulus okay this thing you understood okay now at the receptor what will happen this at the receptor what will happen is energy will be provided by the stimulus okay energy will be provided by the stimulus and right because of that it will set off chemical reaction well this energy right it will be converted into electrical signal and this signal is called what does it call electrical impulse or nerve impulse or just impulse okay understood and this impulse will be traveling through the neurons and it will reach the brain and from brain brain or spinal, uh, spinal cord from there the message will be relayed right to the effectors now this what is effectors they carry out the actions okay like muscles understood hmm? yes ma'am the responding part is effectors now you can see control and coordination right in mainly in humans i told you right there are two types you will see what are they in humans what are they nervous system or uh, and hormones this is also called endocrine okay what is the function of nervous system so the function of nervous system is to coordinate the activities of all our body it coordinates the activities of all our body and it helps all the uh, systems right all the system of our, our body to work together this nervous system it will receive um information from the surrounding right this receives information then what does it do it processes it right then it will interpret right it will infer then what it will do then it will respond 
is formed accordingly okay and what is this nerve nervous system made up of it is made up of neuron okay and this neuron is structural and functional unit of nervous system okay now we have what what, what uh, is it made up of you can see this thing right this is our cell body what does it contain cytoplasm and nucleus like all all uh, all cells like the other cells and also right from the cell body there will be long extension here and here right long fibrous extension this the longer one it is called axon and this so a uh, shorter one it is called dendron dendrites okay okay now you see this dendrites what is it work it will receive the impulse receiving okay this will receive and what about this axon axon it is it will transmit okay understood okay then there are three types of neuron what are they they are sensory neuron then motor neuron then relay neuron okay hmm? what is this sensory neuron sensory hmm? this will transmit impulse from from where from the sensory cells from the receptors from the sense organs right from sense organs that's why it is called sensory neuron organ towards where towards towards the central nervous system that is what is central nervous system central nervous system consists of spinal cord and brain okay see this is our brain and this here we have the spinal cord okay then what about motor neuron it will be opposite right it will transmit motor it's like vehicle impulses from cns to right muscles that is what is muscles it is effector okay then what about relay neuron what about ne relay ne neuron this will occur in the cns okay okay and here they will they will act as link link between this sensory neuron and motor neuron understood understood or not yes sir okay then that's great then how does the signal this impulse go from one neuron to the next okay so there will be gap okay there will be gap here this gap right this gap is called this gap is called synapse right where this synapse happen this is our axon right in the, of the axon this okay from here the next dendron will start right so here this gap is our synapse understood end of the axon of sensory neuron and this will be next dendrites of next neuron now suppose there are right two neurons a neuron a and neuron b okay so this this a you can say it has sensory neuron okay and this is directly connected to the receptor that means this neuron is near to the sense organs okay this neuron thing suppose okay this neuron and and after that the uh, there will be gap right right after the gap there will be next neuron okay so whenever the stimulus will act on the right will act on uh, on the receptors in the sense organ what will happen i told you there will be chemical reaction because of that impulse will generate okay now this impulse will generate and they will they will go to the right first it will go to the dendrites from the dendrites it will go to the cell body then from the cell body it will go to the axon 
right from axon it will go to the end of the axon after that what will happen it will release chemical substance and that chemis chemical substance will which will you will learn later it is called neurotransmitter okay and after that this chemical substance will be released and then it will go to the next dendrites okay and again it will start that impulse this uh, the second neuron and from the second neuron it will go to the third neuron uh, from the third to fourth like that it will continue till it reaches the brain or spinal cord okay understood and from there what will happen from there what will happen the brain or spinal cord what they will do it will um, uh, it will say what the um, what action should be done okay it will give signal okay again this uh, neuron it will go it will relay to the right it will re uh, relay the information to the effector right where the effector muscles it will move understood safia understood or not you got it right what is happening here okay okay then we'll talk about this reflex action and reflex arc so our uh, simplest form of response is what is that is reflex action okay this reflex action we are performing it automatically okay we uh, we don't think it is quick this type of actions are quick okay like touching of the hot plane plate then this yawning or coughing this all are our what is that reflex action and also the uh, whenever we um, uh, the movement the dilation of the eye pupil right that is also hello sahazan yes ma'am <laughs> okay that is also reflex action sorry ma'am i actually joined the wrong class it's okay now what is reflex arc hmm? see the route taken by re reflex action that is our reflex arc okay and there are two types of reflex action okay what are they they are spinal reflex two routes okay reflex arc spinal reflex arc and cerebellar reflex arc okay now you will know that by seeing this diagram okay now stimulus is given that is heat for example this thing is touching of hmm? what is this touching of hot plate what will happen here the stimulus what will happen there will be heat detector right in the receptors um right in the skin right and after that uh, what will happen there will be impulse right because of this um re uh, reaction will happen because of this impulse uh, will be generated electrical impulse and after that the uh, impulse will be will uh, will be traveling to the sensory neuron right from sensory neuron right it will go to the spinal cord okay right and after spinal cord uh, this motor neuron will give uh, give it to the it will uh, this spinal cord will tell the action the mode of action okay and this motor neuron uh, will carry that information that response to the effector that is our muscles of our arms okay and what will be a, a response it will be lifting of the hand and this because this involves spinal cord that is why this root this root is called spinal reflex arc okay understood here pupil pupil of the eye this reflex are uh, reflex actions are quick without thinking okay now here pupil of the eye i where is it present right it is present uh, near the brain right so here the main thing will be our brain brain will give the uh the action the the thing to be performed it will say what to do okay this brain here it is spinal cord okay now the stimulus will be bright eye right 
when we move um, to um, uh, bright room uh, outside when we go outside there will be sunlight right so there will be bright light coming and it will be received by the receptors right which is present inside our eye and after that this will set off the reaction because of that impulse will be generated and then this will go uh, this impulse will be uh, transmitted to the sensory neurons right and it will go to the brain and after that this brain right this brain will give the signal what to do and after that this motor neurons right it will carry the information to the effector and that effector is our muscle of the eye right and what will it do this pupil it will shrink so that the less light could come in okay and it will protect the eye understood and this is called cerebral reflex arc understood understood or not safia yes ma'am understood right so uh, now this we have to know right how does this muscles move this muscles they contain specialized protein okay and uh, because of that uh, that protein whenever they receive signal that protein will change its shape okay it will become smaller and uh, because of that the muscles will move understood here in the higher class you will know in more detail okay we'll end the class here okay Uh, in the next class we'll talk about brain and the then we'll go um, about the hormones in the humans okay safia any doubt here um, could you explain cerebral reflex arc again oh uh, what about this this um, whenever right whenever you move to the bright areas bright place what will happen our eyes right the our uh, pupil in our eyes this black thing right it will shrink right this is automatic response okay that's why it is reflex action uh, but it is cerebral reflex it um, the method the pathway the route it is cerebral because um, here brain is involved and uh, brain is nearest right to the eye that's why uh, here this path is taken and in the here in the hand right right the brain was not um, it will take no longer right to reach that's why here spinal cord was involved okay now here what is happening here is you can see whenever there is bright light this is the stimulus the the receptor will uh, uh, receive this stimulus right and because of that reactions will happen uh, right then it will change that energy into electrical impulse that is our um, that you can say impulse or um, nerve impulse right and which will uh, be trans uh, transmitted to the nerves nerve sensory nerves right neurons okay and from there it will go to the right i told you right from one neuron to the next to the next till it reaches our brain okay and from the brain the brain will tell what action to be done and this action will be relayed to the motor neuron right and this after that this motor neuron also one motor neuron to next 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 like that right to the effector right where this muscle will contract okay it will shrink it will make the pupil to shrink this this will be our response here and this will protect our eye from the bright light understood yes ma'am okay any more doubts no ma'am okay thank you then bye bye take care thank you ma'am